Hi, I want to share with you how do I prepare online exams uh, using Moodle. First of all, I signed in uh, to my iConnect account. I've opened Moodle. Now I want to go to my courses. Let's choose this one. I want to click on uh, this uh, gear shaped icon and click on more. You will see that we have here question bank. I want to start creating my question bank. So first of all, uh, this is my previous question bank. I want to start by creating a new question. So you have uh, here uh, several types of questions, multiple choice questions, true or false, matching. Uh, you can uh, put the question and keep here uh, a blank space for a short answer. Let's go for the multiple choice. Add. You can prepare your uh, exam on a Word document in order to copy and paste from it. Let's say here I want to ask a question about uh, the interest rate. Now here where I type uh, the text for the question, you can type or you can copy and paste uh, from a Word document that you have prepared. Let me show you here. I have a question. I will copy. So go back and paste. So this is my first question. I can give it, let's say, two marks. And I want to start putting the answers. So this is my uh, choices here. You can uh, determine how do you want it to look like. Is it ABC, one, two, three? I'll keep it as ABC. So I will say that the first choice is 98. And I will have to determine here. This is my correct question. So I will say that this is my 100%. This is the correct choice. I will go and put in several answers which are incorrect. Here, if you want to leave a feedback, I don't want to leave any feedback for the students. This is my second choice. I will say that here it is 113 and the grade here is none. So if the student will choose this answer, 113, he will get, he will get uh, no grade. He will get the 100% here if he chooses this one. So you can fill in up to three or four choices if you want. Let me say that this is 50. Another fourth choice, let's say 74. So I filled four choices. Then you will say here, save changes and continue editing. You will see that this is the question that you have typed. It will appear uh, like this at first. Then you will see the question as you uh, pasted it and I can preview if you click preview here you will see uh, the question and how will it look like when the student opens this question in the exam this is the text and these are the choices I can close this preview now and I want to save changes. Now you see, this is the question that we have created. Let's say, for example, you want to adjust anything in it, okay? Or uh, you want to delete it. You can do it from here, you can edit it. Let's create another question. Another multiple choice, add. Let's say here, for example, I don't want it to be a text. I want to add some tables, 
uh, or graphs. So let's go back to the Word document that I prepared. Here, let's say I want to take this table. If, for example, I just click here to copy it, go back here if I want to paste it, you will see, Ctrl V, it's not allowing me to paste it as it is because Moodle will look like it as if we have several codes in it. So uh, the method that I have uh, uh, tried and it worked well is that you use the snipping tool. At your search, you just write snipping tool. You see, this is the snipping tool. Double click on it. And I want to open a new one. So this is the snipping tool. New. And I will say that I want this part only. So I click on it. And this is the part that I need to enter. Okay, because Moodle will not take anything uh, other than text as copy and paste. So uh, this is the perfect method to do it. I will save it as a picture and enter it uh, in that way in using a uh, Moodle uh, snipping tool. So I'm going to save it. You choose where do you want to save it. Let's say I'm going to use it, save it in my pictures. And I will say that this is Moodle 1. Save. Close it now. Go back to the question and I will press insert image. Now I will browse it, choose I'll go to my pictures and search for Moodle 1 open and upload this file you'll have to specify that the description is not necessary save image and here it is you can see it now if you want to add some text you can enter here let's say find the present worth at i equals 10 percent so you can add your text in addition to the table here in the same way we will add a grade to it and you'll have to specify what is the answer here let's say it's 240 and this is the correct answer so i'm going to give it a hundred percent the rest of the choices none this is choice four as well and you will Save changes. Here we have to provide the name. Uh, let's say here the name you can uh, do some categories for yourself. Let's say this is a question related to table of present worth. So all the questions related to pre present worth can be named so that when you want to choose the question later on, uh, which questions to enter into your exam it will be easier for you to select if you have a name for the question so I'm um, gonna save the changes so in this way you can prepare several questions in your bank uh, question bank for later use as we said here you can edit eat any question you can delete it if you don't want it all right so this is how we prepare the question bank then i will go
to this uh, course and since I turned editing on okay uh, if you didn't do, uh, do it you'll have to click here and say turn editing on in order to add some activities I want to add an activity the activity here is a quiz add I want to add a quiz for this course let's say that this is exam one okay now I want to determine the date of this exam so I will have to enable I will say that let's say it's on April 10th for example okay and I will have to determine at what time will this exam open let's say it will open at 10 let's say 30 now it will close as well you have to enable at the same date April 10th let's say the duration is one hour so it shall close at 1130 all right here open attempts are submitted automatically let's say uh, the student didn't uh, finish on time so it will shut down automatically and this attempt uh, will be closed the grades here we have a very important uh, thing to change here with the attempts allowed it's unlimited okay this means that the student can uh, go in and out during the exam for unlimited times and redo it again no we will have to specify that only once the student can try this exam only once so this is very important uh, now with respect to the layout it's better to uh, keep each question on a new page so we leave this one question behavior uh, here it's better to shuffle within questions because uh, if the students are in the lab sitting near to each other uh, and they try to look at each other's screen they will see that each one has a different question they are shuffled now the review options here it is related to what do you want the students to see during the attempt uh, we only can see the attempt if you want you can uh, they can see the attempt during the exam you can see their answers the questions and so on but after they finish the exam what do you like them to see do you want them to see their questions and what was the right answer if you want you can keep it I prefer uh, to not to see the right answer so that if I have uh, several uh, exams uh, after each others and so on so they can see only their mark and later on if they decided uh, the next day to open and see the results they can see the marks without the attempt you know, they, in this way they will not be able to see the questions that they did in the exam if I want to keep uh, the questions for uh, another time I can use it later in different versions this is also after the quiz is closed they will see the mark so the appearance here you want to show the picture no image you can specify extra restriction on attempts I use this to give a password okay so if the exam will start at 10 30 okay it will be ready but you will the student will not be able to open the exam unless I give him the password uh, that's why I make sure uh, that only students in the classroom can open the attempt because I will give them the password nobody else from 
outside the class can open the quiz because he doesn't know the password. Let's say I'm going to give it BAU. This is my uh, password. Enter. Later on, if you forgot the password, you can uh, reveal it. All right. Feedback. Do you want to give a student some feedback? If they did uh, the question correctly, you can say good work and so on. Uh, so this is with respect to the feedback, if you want to do it. Common Moodle settings. If you want to do some groups and say that only these groups of students uh, will do this uh, attempt so that to make sure uh, that nobody from other CRNs is attempting the exam. You can add other restriction, but I think the password is uh, enough. Here, the students can mark uh, the a question that they have finished related to I don't change anything here competencies I also don't change anything here neither with the tags so these are the things that I usually change so I'm gonna save and display So it will look like this. This is exam one. You can do the exam only one time. It will not be available on, uh, until this date and this time. But here, no questions have been added. So now I want to start adding my questions. So I will edit quiz. Here, this is the maximum grade. Let's say I want it over 20. And I want to shuffle the questions. Now I want to add. Add a new question or add from the question bank. So I will add from question bank because I already uh, created the questions. So let's say I'm going to choose this one related to compounding, the interest rate, table of present worth. So you choose the number of questions that you want, let's say, add those to the quiz. So these are the questions and I will determine that the mark for this question, let's say here it has three marks, keep this out of two. You have to enter. Three. Enter. This is out of two. And this has, let's say, four marks. enter so here it will tell me that the total uh, marks is nine okay you can delete this question if you want add another one it will ask you again from the question bank and so on um, let's say that you keep it out of nine save Okay, so this is my exam. And I've added the questions that will be included in this exam. Now if I go to it, if I want to preview the quiz, I will have to add the password which is BAU and I will start the attempt for the students the exam will look like this this is the first exercise these are the multiple choices let's say I'm gonna choose this one 
You see here, in quiz navigation, I can uh, go back and forth between the problems. And once I'm done, I can finish, press finish attempt. Let's say I want to go to the next page first. So we see the students will only see uh, the choices. This is question two. It will say here that it's answered or not yet. What is the mark? It's out of four. Let's say I'm going to choose uh, this one. Next. This is question three that I chose. Okay, let me choose this answer. You see here it shows that I already answered question one and two and I still uh, need to answer question number three. So these are my choices. Okay, I didn't select all the uh, correct answers just to show you how will it look like. Once I'm done answering all the questions, we need to tell the students that they have to press finish attempt. So these are the answers, okay? Now, here uh, we have to press again, submit all and finish. So this is the result. This was five out of nine. Okay, so they will see the questions right after they finish the attempt. They can see the questions and how did they answer and they can see the mark. Okay, later on, once they finish, uh, because we uh, selected from the settings that we we'll only see the marks. So you determine what do you want the students to see after during the attempt and after they finish it and they are still uh, opening the attempt and what they can see later on if they want to open after two or three days. So uh, it's very easy to use Moodle and the best part is that you don't have to do any correction. Uh, the grade will pop up right away after the students finish. Thank you for listening.